Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong. I hope you're all feeling well. And thank you for all the uh, positive comments that I've had on the Stands of Stones series that I did and I managed to do them all. And if you're thinking of uh, having a look at them yourself, I really recommend the walks. So, um, I was going to talk to you about something completely different today, but on my way into my local woods where we are now, uh, you saw the mess on the way in. And it's only about a week since I was in here. And that mess has occurred within that week, coinciding with the relaxation of the lockdown. So what's going on there? So in this vlog, I am going to talk to you a little bit about the country code. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not me about to be preaching to the already converted. I know you guys all follow the country code, but it's more uh, me just uh, having a rant at what I've just seen and uh, wanting some comfort from you guys. Why can't people just follow simple rules? And why can't people just respect their own local area, respect the countryside as a whole? Why can't they follow these simple rules? What's it all about? What's going on? And as you can see back there, uh, there's a lady that's having problems with her wall being destroyed. I actually see her horse regular, uh, just in the field, lovely animal. And yeah, that wall is there to protect her horse from uh, straying out and getting uh, injured maybe on the road. Uh, but uh, people are just climbing the wall, kicking the stones over. What can she actually do about that? So I've just nipped out of the woods because it's a little bit lighter here. We've had a few overcast days, uh, but the sunshine is going to return. Now, um, I need a haircut. I've already cut my own hair once during this uh, this lockdown period and I think I'm going to have to cut it again. The, the uh, barbers are not uh, open yet. So <laughs> I've been phoning my mate saying, you know, uh, when are you going to open your shop? But uh, they're not allowed to open yet. And I don't know how they're going to go on uh, social distancing when uh, <laughs> when they've got to cut hair. But you don't care about that, <laughs> or do you? If you do care about it, put your comments in the comments section below. Uh, have you had your hair cut during the lockdown period and who cut it? <laughs> like I said, I cut my own. Uh, so yeah, definitely. I'm not looking forward to doing that again. And I might have to let my lass loose on it as well. So back to my issues with the uh, countryside code and uh, that's what it's been changed to recently actually the title changed from country code to countryside code recently updated and the reason I'm uh, I'm talking about it is because um, there's a lot more people just throwing the boots on right now because of the present situation and uh, taking to the countryside and a lot of them seem to be really uh, naive and uh, unaware of how to go on in the countryside especially regarding like livestock and litter and fires and stuff like that so um, that's the reason I'm kind of highlighting. And I think we're going to get a lot more people, um, and they should do. I'm, I'm glad people are getting out into the countryside. Uh, but uh, we're going to get a lot more people in the countryside because we're not going to be flying away to other countries for our holidays uh, sometime soon. So yeah, just come out onto uh, Outlane Golf Course, great golf course. And it's uh, nice to just walk around the outside, avoiding the golf balls, of course. And there's not many people playing today, but uh, there are a couple. I can see a couple playing. So, it's better than being in the woods and seeing all the litter and uh, destruction that these mindless fools are uh, causing down there. I actually did see a little bit about uh, the destruction and the fires and the groups of people gathering in the woods and uh, causing all this litter. Uh, I saw a little bit about that in my local paper. So uh, I just came down to have a little look and I wish I hadn't. Uh, let me know your feelings on uh, littering and the fires and the people that just uh, maraud through the countryside without caring. Uh, what should be done about that? Now I've got another issue uh, regarding the uh, country code and I'm going to tell you about that in a moment.
So what else is it I'm wanting to bang on about? Well, <laughs> and it's still to do with the country code. And yes, it seems like there's a lot of people that uh, just don't seem to uh, understand uh, what to do around livestock. And we've got the little uh, ducklings out and the uh, baby geese, what they call goslings. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we've got all the uh, all the youngsters out and uh, I see people going over to look at the ducklings and the goslings, is that right? Uh, goslings, yeah. And yeah, the parents of the uh, of the young ones are trying to protect their young, and it's very instinctive uh, to protect their young. And they'll do anything; they will actually attack you, and a, a goose will definitely attack you. And it'll be quite something if you are attacked by a goose. But I see the same thing happening with sheep. So we've got the little lambs there and people are wanting to go over and pet the little lambs. Uh, now a sheep protecting its young is a lot different to a goose. So why is it that I see so many families, so many parents of very young children letting them just go straight over to, uh, to livestock and, and pet the young and then get the shock of their life when such as a sheep comes charging over and literally butts the child like a car hitting the child and knocks them clean over and uh, they've got all on to get to the child before the sheep is butting the child again and that is quite something when a sheep does decide to do that. Now this is the HT, it's about 250 yards and it's a par 3. I'm going to take you for a little walk over to the end of it and then I'll tell you a little bit more about my uh, issues with the country code and people that just can't follow simple rules. So we're at the eighth green and uh, yeah, I did that in about four takes. So just one over par. Now, uh, back to the uh, country code. The, the big issue is cattle, cows. Now here in Yorkshire, we have the highest density of cattle in the UK, uh, along with Devon and Cornwall, I think it is. So uh, I see plenty of issues with people going through fields and, uh, and getting it all wrong. Now, if you've been following my channel for quite a while, I thank you and you will know that I have a healthy respect fear <laughs> a healthy fear of cattle now a cow as we all know is absolutely massive and you can't be dealing with that when it gets angry and when there's quite a few of them and they're usually in herds in the field then you've got a big problem on your hands but most people see them as just pretty docile roaming around the fields but not when there's young about and a lot of people when they hear my uh, issues with cattle and how dangerous they are they actually laugh and uh, don't believe that they can be extremely dangerous in fact the cow is one of the most dangerous animals in the uk kill people every year now like i say the reason for this bit of a rant vlog is because i saw all the uh, litter on my way into the woods and the vandalism to the that lady's wall and it just got me thinking and um, people that are wandering around the countryside seem to have very limited knowledge especially around livestock it seems to me that the only reason that uh, a cow would actually attack you is to protect its young so if just one person stumbles upon this vlog and uh, it helps them and also just to be uh, mindful of the countryside and the country code you can find the country code online now i will leave a link to the countryside code in the uh, description below and uh, please leave your comments in the comments section below about this vlog uh, tell me what you think of it of course and uh, your experiences with uh, with with cattle with livestock uh, coming in contact with livestock in the countryside have you had a bad experience um, all your comments are going to help people that maybe are unaware of this because there's a lot of people i think that maybe uh, move from uh, 
built up areas of cities and uh, they've never probably never come in contact with a cow or cattle sheep and uh, they, they think that it's okay to just to go over and pet them but out here like in uh, West Yorkshire the uh, the cattle are pretty feral so this is uh, supposed to be uh, helpful i'm hoping that this is going to help people so a few pointers now uh, just behind me you can see that uh, van there and uh, the story goes that uh, if you uh, if you look into the window uh, you can see an old lady's face in the window of the uh, of the van anyway i'm not going to let that disturb me now if you're walking across a field with a dog on a lead the chances of you being charged and trampled increase tremendously and that's because the uh, cattle um, especially and i must stress especially when they've got young the cattle see the dog instantly as a predator so my advice to you in that situation is to reconsider crossing that field now if you are crossing the field and your dog is off the lead you need to seriously consider ever considering yourself as a responsible dog owner i mean it's bad enough when uh, they have the dogs let off the lead and the dog is coming charging towards yourself i mean the standard uh, standard cry from uh, the uh, irresponsible dog owner who just lets the dog off the lead as it's coming charging towards you um, one or two dogs charging snarling barking towards you they just shout out it's okay he doesn't bite i mean yeah, it looks like he doesn't bite with them teeth in his mouth. And uh, yeah, it might not bite you. Uh, you feed it. It doesn't really care about me. In fact, uh, recently I was walking through a place like this and uh, two dogs came charging over to me, barking and uh, very aggressively. And they were quite large dogs. And um, I don't actually fear dogs too much because they're smaller, uh, but uh, they can definitely make a mess of you. And uh, yeah, I stood still and uh, they came right up to me and I was a little bit wary. And when I did eventually get to the owners who were quite a ways away from me, uh, two ladies, um, they just said to me, uh, oh, I'm sorry, they're just, they're just uh, protecting us. They're just protecting us, protecting them from what? <laughs> So yeah, I got issues with uh, people letting the dogs off the lead. I mean, let's face it, any irresponsible owner that's willing to gamble letting the dog off the lead is never going to actually shout out to you, it's not okay, he's going to try and kill you, run for your life. They're never going to shout that to you. They're always going to say, it's all right, he don't bite. Oh, well, he's never bit anyone until he bites somebody. In fact, it still exists in the country code that a farmer, if he sees a dog uh, worrying his uh, cattle or his livestock, he can actually shoot the dog and uh, he's uh, liable for no uh, compensation to the owner. So why don't farmers have uh, cattle and livestock that have got young? Why don't they have them in enclosed fields that uh, the public can't walk through? Why don't they close them fields off? Well, I think farmers would actually welcome that, but uh, the impact that would have on our enjoyment of the countryside would actually be massive. Public right of way through private land is something that we should be very grateful for. So how can you avoid being attacked by cattle, especially with young? Uh, first of all, try not to cross that field if you can find another way. You can't always find another way, so um, if you are crossing, don't make any sudden movements. Now walkers with dogs should definitely keep the dogs on a close lead and uh, just really avoid triggering the cows and the rest of the cattle into protection mode. And if us walkers can't follow a simple set of rules laid out by the countryside code, which I'll leave in the uh, description below, I'll leave a link to the countryside code. If we can't follow that simple set of rules, I think we will see our right of way being restricted. And I think we have all had enough of restrictions. So if you've got any advice for people that are new to the countryside, definitely put them comments in the comments section below. I'm interested to uh, hear your experiences. If you've had some bad experiences with livestock and you can offer advice, definitely do that. I hope this vlog has, has helped and will help at least uh, one person and maybe save a life. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, walk. I've enjoyed the walk with you. There's a view of where we have walked. I upload a vlog every week, so uh, if you've enjoyed this one, give me a like. And of course, consider subscribing. And if I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.